Getting started with new Genesis, not transferring over any gear from PSO2. Well, I've got a few four star units that you can actually claim through some special red chests. Once you can access Central City, you can pretty much access all of these chests, and it is very easy to actually unlock these chests and get some free upgrades that you're going to be able to use basically around level 12. Now, the first chest is located exactly where it was in the closed beta. Now, this used to be a three star unit, but now it is a four star unit. It is located on the cliffs just on the western side of Central Alio, just above a cocoon and a Ryuka device you can see here. Now with these chests, all you have to do is just break these weird little beacon crystal things. There's a few of them around the place. There's one just in front of the red chest you can see here. And with all of these, it's just going to be trying to figure out whereabouts these beacons are. You can also see on the actual red chest bubble, there are these weird little plus signs. When you destroy each of these beacons, it'll actually remove one of those. These are basically the barriers forming the bubble. So there's our second one just up the cliff above it. And then we also have another one. If we turn around, you will actually see it just on the horizon over there, just on the cliff face. There's one also below us just down there also. So those are the last two we need to collect. Once we have destroyed both of these, we can obviously go back and break that chest and it's going to give us a unit. Now, this was a three start in the closed beta, but this is what it's actually going to give now in PS2 New Genesis. We get the Qual D Armor Arga. Now, there are three different types of this armor. This one is a four star, has 13 defense, four PP, and 1% in melee and ranged attack as well. Again, you need to be level 12 to actually equip this. There are two other forms of the Qual D Armor, this one focusing on range and melee. These are some of the highest star rarity armors in the game as of present, higher than what you can bring over in PSO2. Now, the next one is a new one. It's actually located just in front of the tundra area right next to the Rizal Forest. You can see there's the kind of like the weird little bridge. And here it is on the map. There you go, right next to the bridge. It's actually directly opposite, just up the little plateau that's got all the brambles and weird purple trees. You can see here that the red box is just below one of these big roots. And just directly above it, on one side, there's one of the beacons. On the other side, there's another. And then there are two more beacons. You can actually hear a note playing. Use that to guide you to where the next ones are. These ones are actually very easy to find. They're just above the roots. While the fourth and final one, I actually had to look around for this one. It's actually pretty easy to find. I was just using the notes to direct me where to find it. But there we go. It's just off to the side of the cliff face. Pretty much where you'd probably be jumping up just to the north of the cocoon you can see on the mini map there but anyway once you've defeated all of those little beacons then you can go back around and we can get our second four star armor piece or unit piece for pso2 new genesis so let's have a look at this one this one is the qual de Sheza. again you need to be a minimum of level 12 to equip this it has 13 defense and this one focuses on melee and also tech you also get that four pp bonus again so not bad a little unit if you're focusing on melee and tech there now, the final one is located in Western Alio. It's actually right next to a Ryuka device here facing a cocoon. So if you go to the Crayano Cliffs here, there's actually a beacon just next to it, just above the name. But we just go across the cliffs and you can see here we have this red chest here and we just break those beacons again. These ones are actually mostly below the cliff face. So just have a look around. They basically cover the south, west and north side of the cliff. There's also that one that's just above the cliff as well. Just break them down. There you go. All easy to go. And we're done. And this is our third and final unit that I'm showing on this video. This is the Qual de Armor Belter. Again, level 12 to equip, 13 armor. This one focusing on range and tech this time around, plus the four PP as well. PP being obviously your photon points, which you are going to be using when you're using your photon arts and also techniques. It is the resource that you use and manage when you are using these abilities. Now, I also just want to make a note that these are not the only places you can get four star units in Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. I had a few people saying that they've been getting them from combat zones such as Mount Magnus. We've now got also the Vanford Laboratory Ruins and the Resol Forest, which are probably going to be places where if you're doing PSE bursts, basically running around completing trials until a rainbow beam starts to fire off and enemies start spawning you get a big boss and then defeating the boss you have a high chance of getting these kind of equipments to drop including weapons as well i actually had a four star set of twin daggers drop when i was in mount magnus so these are good places just to farm equipment in general i'd love to know in the comments below if you've actually had any of these four star armor pieces dropping in these areas and even if we're getting five or six star equipments 
It seems like there's only four star at the moment, but again, I haven't been privy to if there is any higher star rarity stuff dropped, but I would love to hear this and I would love to share the information with people if it is a thing, especially now that we've got some urgent quests running around. We've got the one we had from the closed beta against Pedas Vera. We now have a new one as well in the Resol Forest. I won't spoil that one just yet. I'll give people a day or so to get up to that point, but I'm sure that stuff is going to be dropping some four star equipment, whether it's weapons or units in both of those urgent quests. Now, another question I'm expecting people will ask is, will four star rarity be the absolute highest we'll get for new Genesis? Now in the shop system, you will see that it does go up to a higher star rarity. And this may actually be specifically because we got cosmetics at that level. We know that with previously how Fantasy Star Online 2 worked and even the older Fantasy Star Online and Universe, we actually did get up to 15 star rarity for those weapons and units in those games or armor pieces in some of them as well. So yeah, as we see more regions open up, we get new urgent quests dropping and maybe even, I don't know, dungeons or towers or other places to get these things, maybe even drops from enemies, higher level enemies that are going to be dropping. Maybe we'll get difficulties in other PSO games. We've had normal, we've had hard, very hard, we've even had up to ultimate difficulties. They would also be added to PSO2 and these could also be a delivery method for higher star rarity weapons and units as well. As far as we know what regions to expect in the near future, we did see that there is the Tundra one I showed in this video just in the background. There's also a volcano you can see on the horizon and people are saying there might be a desert as well. So those are some regions you should be looking for in the near future. These will probably be slowly staggered out and released over the year. And who's to say as well in the near future, we may even be going to other planets that aren't just Alpha because Fantasy Star is about solar systems, right? That's the whole premise is basically it's anime Star Wars or Star Trek. Now, the other note I want to make as well is that one star, two star, three star rarity units. Yeah, you can get those around the place too. One and two star units you can get from just the shop in town it is to the right of the red shop, which is going to be the player shops. You can just purchase those with Masetta if you want to, although I don't really recommend it because these things are probably going to be dropping from enemy drops as well. You can also opt to bring units across from Fantasy Star Online too. However, if you're buying them from the market with the scramble into New Genesis, the price of these units have started to increase in price pretty dramatically. So maybe just try to farm them for yourself by doing some urgent quests in PSO2, or maybe if you've got some in your storage, see if you've got anything worthwhile taking over to New Genesis. You can also access your storage from wherever you want in the game. So specifically in New Genesis, if you've got anything in your storage, you can just click that orange bar just at the top underneath the item menu bit. That'll give access to storage share between PS2 and New Genesis. And you can just grab that stuff on the field if you maybe get to the right level to equip that stuff. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, not too much to worry about. But otherwise, if you are starting out and you don't have any of this stuff in PSO2, you're starting out of New Genesis for the first time, get yourself up to level 12 by just doing tasks leveling just running around doing trials and maybe even psc bursts eventually you're going to get to level 12 and you'll be able to equip these four star units which will be pretty much set for the next few weeks of new genesis no word on when we're going to get any higher star rarity at this point i hope that puts things into perspective got a lot of new players so i just wanted to explain things so that they understood what to expect in the coming weeks anyway i'm anna mana this has been useful consider subscribing and hitting the bell to get my videos in your subscription feed and i'll see you on the next one have a great week bye